Hello there, Libra. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Libra for the week of July 11th. This one doesn't resonate so much. Go ahead and check out your other placements, particularly your Moon, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. You may want to do this anyway, since there could be messages there for you. We're looking at the overall energy here. I'm also going to pull cards for your person. I'll clarify everything in real time. Yes, that means shuffling. Please like and subscribe since I post weekly. If you would like your own private reading, you can find all of my information down below in the description box. I also do extended readings for $10. You'll get access to all of the extendeds for every single sign for an entire month. So the first thing that I see here is someone taking action towards you. We have the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is a new beginning, a fresh start. Wands are action. It's per someone pursuing you. It's excitement, um, passion. It's basically someone reaching out to you. It's showing up with the Eight of Wands, which is some movement here. It's momentum. It's messages coming in. And we have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture and make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So if this is your reading, I think that there's been some confusion here between the two of you. We have the seven of cups, which is confusion, illusions, delusions, maybe not quite knowing where you stand or where this person stands. Sometimes the seven of cups is like, I can't make up my mind. I don't know which option I want to choose. Maybe you've been trying to decide if you should walk away here. Um, should you listen to the person? You know, there's, there's this general sense of like being stuck here. Maybe being in the dark. We also have the three of swords, heartbreak, heartache, pain, disappointment, and love. So there could have been a breakup here, or maybe this relationship is very disappointing. It isn't living up to its potential here between the two of you. All right, so let's go ahead and take a closer look at your person and see what comes up. All right, here's what we have so far. I'm also going to pull more cards from the Light Seers Tarot, which is on the table right now, as well as the Tarot of Mystical Moments to clarify everything that comes out. Page of Wands would also be communication here. So very strongly, there's communication coming in from this person. It's Leo, Sag, Aries energy. So this person could be a fire sign or they have fire in their chart. Maybe you have fire in yours. I would also say the Page of Wands is someone wanting to take a new path here. And that was my kitten Bijou. So... This is someone wanting to take a new path, choose a new direction here, again, taking action, wanting to give to the situation with the Six of Pentacles. You see one hand is outstretched, the other one is putting coins into it. So it's time, it's effort, it's energy, maybe money, who knows, um, something tangible and physical here from this person. Three of Cups is interesting. It can be a reconciliation card. Three of Cups is coming together for a celebration, maybe meeting someone at a celebration. Um, it's a reason to celebrate someone who misses maybe the good times with you. Let me go ahead and pull some more cards here and we'll see what comes out. So tell me about Libra's person. All right. Oh, well, we've got the lovers. So a couple possibilities with that particular card. The lovers can mean um, it's major arcana for Gemini. So it could be a Gemini that you're dealing with here. Um, the lovers is also a strong connection between two people. If you look very closely, and this is one reason why I love this deck, you can see um, the star between their foreheads here. That's a Merkaba. It's the Jewish symbol for the soul. This is something of a soulmate or a soul tie card, a twin flame card. I look for the lovers. I look for the six of cups. I look for the wheel of fortune. Um, sometimes the star card, all of those are associated with like a soul connection or a soul tie here. So what is going on with this person? 
All right. Mm -hmm. Well, we've got the Six of Cups already, and we also have the Four of Cups. So if the whole soul tie or twin flame isn't your... It isn't your belief structure. It's not something that you believe in. The The Six of Cups showing up is having a long standing relationship with someone, maybe even having children with this person or knowing this person since you were children, wanting to have kids with the person. Feels like you've known them forever in a day, even if you've just met the person. Strong connection here. Now, what's interesting is the Four of Cups is here as well. So you can see she's being offered this cup, right? And she's sort of not even paying attention to it. She's sort of indifferent about it. I think that this person has maybe been in and out of this relationship. Maybe they haven't known what they wanted. Um, maybe they've been kind of standoffish here. I think of the Four of Cups as being out of alignment. I don't know what I want. I don't know where this is going. Um, kind of feeling just sort of like this person is off. And again, I'm coming back to like, this isn't living up to its potential. Strong connection here, but I do think that there's been issues. So tell me about this person. What's going on here? All right. Well, we've got the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo energy. It's possible you're dealing with an earth sign. King of Pentacles is sometimes someone who's married. Um, this is also knowing your worth and knowing your value. You may have decided to pull back from this person energetically because they weren't living up to the possibilities here or what your expectations were. That's possible too. What is going on with this person? Oh, all right. We've got the King of Pentacles showing up here. We also have the Page of Wands again. So, all right, there's a lot to process here. Um, the, queen, the Queen and the King of Pentacles, they don't always present uh, via gender in this deck. It's one of the things that I kind of love about them. This is somebody you could have been married to in the past um, or someone that you were engaged to or someone that has been married previously. King and Queen, though, showing up here is... Feeling like the two of you are a divine pairing, you're a matched set, the two of you belong together. Um, and it's showing up with this page of wands. For some of you, with the six of cups showing up, you have children with this person. That's for some of you. Um, it's also wanting to take a new path forward with you. Like for some of you, you've been waiting for this person to get, get it together and figure out what the heck they want. That seven of cups with that confusion, that four of cups being out of alignment, this person may have been half in and half out of this relationship. And you're like, why don't you make up your mind and let me know where you stand? And this person is standing with you. They're, they're wanting to pursue you and to be with you. So what is going on with this person? Oh, all right. We've got the page of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. That's your energy to some extent. Page of Swords is also someone who's curious about you. They've been watching you, thinking a lot about you. Or again, you have kids. Sometimes the pages are children. This could be an air sign and a fire sign. We'll do one more card here, and then I want to do how this person is currently feeling about you. Right. Well, there's your major arcana. That's the justice card. Um, it's an apology from this person, or it's you showing up in your power here. You showing up as your major arcana. So I feel like you wanted this person to get themselves together. Either you want it all or nothing. Um, this person may have realized what they suddenly want. There could have been a child custody issue. There could have been a divorce issue here. I also think that this person, they finally figured out what they want. They have this path forward that they want to take now. So there may have been something with this justice card, like they could have gotten a divorce. Um, they could have, maybe there was some sort of a legal issue that they needed to get through. The justice card can also mean someone telling you their truth. 
All right, let's do the cur current feelings for you. All right. So how does this person currently feel about Libra? All right. We've got the Four of Wands. Four of Wands is coming home to someone, feeling as though someone is your home. It's wanting to take a relationship to the next level. Um, this is like the engagement party card, um, building a home with someone, moving in with someone. And we've got the strength card that popped out with it, which is Leo energy. There's a lot of fire showing up here. This person could be a fire sign. Um, the strength card is viewing you as bold, as brave. Um, maybe seeing you, maybe like you've decided not to settle here. You pulled back from this person. You kind of were wanting them to get themselves together before you dealt with them again. Um, this strength card, I think, is also someone being brave here and making the bold move. Um, wanting to rush back in here and see what they can do. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you would like the extended reading, click the join button or look for the link in the description box. I also do private readings. The less, least expensive one is $20. You can find all of those details below in the description box. Um, all right. Blessed be.